Well, here we are, Fleming Gorge at the Burbot Bash, even though we're not participating, but Keith is. It's our setup so far. We're waiting for some other people to show up. Josh and Spencer went back for, or Josh and Shana went back for another load of stuff. So this is where we're at so far. All right, guys, we don't have much lighting in here right now because our windows are shut. I'll open this one. That'll make it better. This is our setup. We got our disco beds over here. Single cot over here. And the sun's getting you. Single cot over here. Ego power station so we won't run out of power. Buddy heater. Three chairs and then we're going to drill some holes in the ice right here to fish out of. That's the plan. I'll show you the outside here in just a minute. Alright, so this is what we got on the outside. We're set up right next to this cliff. So they tell me that's where the burbot live so we're gonna see if we can catch some of those i guess like i say i'm not participating in the tournament but keith is and he's got some guys coming that are participating as well we're just here to have a good time and camp so we're gonna see if we can catch a few fish along the way so we'll let you know how it goes Spencer, what do you think? How's the fishing? Bad. Haven't caught any fish yet, huh? But they say prime time is about four o'clock. We're getting there pretty quick, so we'll see how it goes here in the next little bit. We're turning into a bit of a lake over here. It got a little warm and we got some pretty good slush on top of the ice here where we've walked. So we're hoping that freezes back up. A couple puddles over there. But I think it'll freeze up tonight. It's supposed to get pretty cold, so. Anyway, that's the update. I was it was sitting on the bottom and I would just bounce it off the bottom every now and then all right here's our first burbot pretty sweet Let's see if we can catch another one all three of them together three trophy burbot here it's hard to film them after dark but there they are guys so here we are chilling out in the tent we're about ready to get ready for bed we're gonna eat something probably here in a bit and then we're gonna get ready for bed we came up with four burbot pretty couple pretty decent sized ones tonight um, fishing was a little slow but uh, at least we caught something we didn't get skunked first time out here trying it I don't think that's too bad so anyway we're just all chilling here we got Josh here Spencer back here here going on low it's keeping us plenty warm on low so yeah we're gonna get ready for bed here in a bit for dinner tonight we got ranch dip and chips because we're too lazy oh that's gonna kill you we're <laughs> hey anyway we're gonna turn this off anyway we're too lazy to really cook anything so we're just eating snacks for dinner and then we're gonna have some bagels in the morning for breakfast 
and uh, we have some hot dogs we're gonna cook at some point but it's like 8 8 30 and uh, we got the heater on low I'm sitting here without a coat on it's not hot in here but it's by no means cold it's probably 65 degrees in here with the heater on low so we'll probably run it on low all night and uh, see how that goes for us you have our vents on open. yes we got our vents open and I have two carbon monoxide detectors in here plus the heater's got a low oxygen sensor on it so we're being safe Uh, three more burbot this morning so that's like seven total so yeah seven burbot total is where we're at right now Oh, holy smokes. It's a nice lake trout. Well, that's cool. So maybe those are that's lake trout we're seeing down there, huh? Yeah. Got this lake trout. It was down on the bottom. Got it on the littlest pole and the littlest jig that we have. He swallowed it, but we got him off. We'll get him back in the water and go on to catch some more. Well, the thing's still alive. That's pretty cool. Go, little buddy. There he goes. It only catches that one. All right, guys. So we got a condition here where we've got about a half an inch to an inch of water in our tent. It didn't freeze in there last night. Out here, solid as can be. In there, not so much. So we got to move our tent. So that we're not uh, in a lake. Lake Monster Lodge. That's what we're calling it. All right, so this is where the Monster Lodge was. This is where Keith was. We had to move because the problem was where we put our stakes through, it was spewing water up through. It caused this water to come into our tent. So we moved back there. This time we were a little smarter. We didn't put the stakes down quite so far. So hopefully we won't get the water we did, but if we do, it'll at least last us one night and we'll be able to to take it down tomorrow so we're hoping for less water though we got Spencer over here he's the official ice hole cleaner guys so i thought i'd show you around our hub well it's light so you can see everything we have I have a big buddy heater here on a milk crate hopefully keep from melting the floor we have this light that we use it's a loom luminade it has a little solar panel in the top so it'll charge up we said put it in the window it's fully charged now after last night we used about half the battery in it we have one cot here and then we've got the disco bed over here and then we have this fan light that I got off of Amazon, which I'll put a link in the description for. So this has a, runs on a couple D-cell batteries, um, has on for the light, and then it has a high and low for the fan. 
We just put the fan on low last night. Helps a ton, it pushes all the air down and keeps you nice and warm down here. Pushes the hot air down from the top. We just have a tote here with our food and stuff in it. And that's pretty much it. That's all we've got in here. A couple chairs over here to sit down. We could put a couple ice holes there if we wanted to, but after our experience with the water in the tent yesterday and having to move it, we're uh, gonna forego that at the moment and just uh, fish outside. That's what we've been doing. All right, so we got some good ice cracking going on right now. We'll be quiet for a minute and see if you can hear it. guys we just had our dinner had some hot dogs cooked over the buddy heater everything's versatile so we didn't have to bring a grill with us the breeze is still I'm trying to shut the tent door the breeze is still blowing out here so it's windy ice is cracking but they caught a burbot so we're gonna go check this out let's go see these ugly burbot no, oh, that's Josh's Dude, Whopper right there. This compared to this that we just that's caught. a nice size burbot there, hey. We've got the boys over here Try baiting here. some hooks. What are you doing, bud? Keep your phone in your pocket, okay? Because I don't want it to end up down an ice hole. I'll bring my light over there so you can see. What you trying to do? <laughs> All right. Fish. You can pick that up and jig it a bit. Spencer getting his fish on. Oh, oh, oh. Who, uh, got away. Anyway, guys, <laughs> I was just messing around with the camera and Josh is laughing at me, but we've had a good day today. We didn't catch a lot of fish. Keith caught a great big one, and uh, that was nice. Uh, probably, I don't know, he didn't measure it. I don't know why he didn't measure it. But he held it in his arms and it went from one end to the other. I think it was probably about 27, 28 inches or bigger, maybe bigger. I mean, I don't know. It was a big fish. It was impressive. They caught a rainbow, two lake trout, and a couple burbot. Josh got the smallest burbot of the trip so far. So we'll see if anybody catches a smaller one in the morning. But anyway, I've changed my socks. I'm going to get in bed. we got the buddy heater on medium tonight because it's a little cooler outside. I wish I had a thermometer, but I don't. 
next time I remember to bring one. But anyway, in the morning we're going to get up and start getting things packed up because there's supposed to be a snowstorm coming in later in the afternoon and we don't want any part of that. So we're going to try to get out of here at a pretty good time. So anyway, we'll see you guys in the morning. Morning guys. So it's about uh, what? 5.19 in the morning. Wind's picking up pretty good. We're leaving today, so we're going to get up and start packing this place up because it's going to take us a while. By then it should be sunrise. It was a lot colder night last night. We were in the buddy heater on medium all night. We've got it on high now that we're getting up. Still didn't get cold, but it was a little more, a little, little chilly if you were to get outside or outside your sleeping bag. Um, but anyway, that's what we're doing. We're gonna get things packed up. All right, guys, so it's about 7.30 now. We've got everything pretty much packed up. They took one load of stuff back. We just got the tents left set up and uh, we're gonna get those taken down. Come back, we'll take the final load to the truck. So I think we're gonna end this one off here. Um, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, give us a thumbs up and a like and get outside and do things. So we'll see you on the next one.